Hey guys, welcome to the video. So in this video, we're going to discuss why WordPress is the key platform for freelance developers. If you look at the stats, and we're going to go into it now, it's clear to see that if you want to get into freelance development, WordPress is an, is an extremely viable option. Let's check out the stats and we'll get into some more details. This video is sponsored by InstaWP. This is a one-click install where you can set up your WordPress. It has all kinds of templates and configurations, managed hosting, all kinds of tools ready for developers. They offer flexible monthly and yearly pricing. You can start it off for free to try it out. Take a look at the link below this video and give InstaWP a try. So I think the stats tell the story. So in the first point, 43.2% of all websites use WordPress. That's over 800 million websites. Think about that. The second most popular content management system is Shopify. It has 4.1% market share. And the third is Wix with 23 so it's pretty clear to see at 43%, WordPress is by far and away the most popular content management system. WordPress, is, uh, WordPress increases in popularity about 12% per year. So it's not like WordPress is some old legacy stuff that's slowly dying. It's actually increasing every year. WordPress powers over 36% of the top 1 million websites. So when we're talking about all these WordPress sites out there, we're not just talking about these random kitty WordPress sites that nobody pays attention to. In fact, almost 40% of the top 1 million websites on the web, that's the upper crust, they're all using WordPress. So that means there's money there. WordPress is still the fastest growing CMS for over 10 years now. So when I referred to this stat before, uh, WordPress increases in popularity at about 12% a year. This is going back 10 years of data now. There are over 20,000 themes, both free and paid. This shows that being a WordPress freelancer means you really have to know the ecosystem. There are about 60,000 WordPress plugins. This is very important. We're going to get into the plugins pretty soon. WordPress sites get attacked constantly. Lots of work just on the security side of things. So lots and lots of small business owners use WordPress. And since they're not techies, setting up a domain name, setting up the hosting, installing, configuring WordPress, making sure that it is secure, locking it down, keeping it updated. This is a job for a professional. So WordPress does get attacked a lot. We got more data on this later on. So that's just one aspect of which you can provide as services as a WordPress freelancer. WordPress is often used as an e-commerce storefront. At least 20% of WordPress sites have e-commerce capabilities. That's a very conservative estimate on my part. That means a small business. So you got tons and tons of WordPress sites, at least 20%, and they do e-commerce on their sites. So that means they're making money with their site, it's important to them, which means they're going to want to spend money to keep it up to date and keep it secure. That means small businesses. So all these people doing e-commerce on WordPress, there are a lot of small business owners. And as a freelancer, coincidentally, freelancers typically contract with small businesses, not big business. Going back to security, the primary vector of attack against a WordPress site is via the plugins. So we mentioned there's over 60,000 plugins on WordPress. Plugin vulnerability account for about 90% of the attacks. WordPress developers need to know the plugin landscape. A big part of WordPress's power, well, first of all, is the big theming, the themes, the huge amount of themes that you have. The themes are the visual templates. The other big part of its appeal is the plugin architecture. There's tons and tons of plugins out there. It's a dual-edged sword, though. Part of the reason that WordPress is popular is because of plugins, but part of the reason, well, the main reason that WordPress is vulnerable is because of the plugins. It's always free plugins, generally speaking, that cause all the trouble. Because when you have a free plugin, it's everybody can access it really easy. They don't have to pay for it. So they so hackers can look at the code to find vulnerabilities and exploit them. With a 
paid plugin, at least the hackers will have to pay for them to see them. And with paid plugins, you get the updates, so they're far less likely. There's a financial motivation on the, in terms of the owner of this plugin, the paid plugin, there's a financial motivation for them to make sure that their plugins remain secure. So nothing is guaranteed in life, but if you're gonna go with plugins, you probably wanna go with paid ones most of the time. In terms of attacks, only 4% of the attacks are due to the core software. So WordPress in itself is far more secure than the plugins, 4% versus 90%. So uh, yeah, you just have to make sure you have a proper strategy when you deploy a WordPress-based site. Part of the strategy, maintaining constant backups, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is part of the service that you can provide as a freelancer to any small business. The many tens and tens of millions of small business owners who have WordPress-based e-commerce implementations. Here's a significant fact that will affect how much you can make doing WordPress dev. 44% of WordPress users have English set as their primary website language. That, that suggests where the market is in terms of freelancing. That means you're looking at uh, North America and Europe, uh, first world, so that means there's a lot of opportunity there in terms of uh, people who own these sites actually have uh, some couple pennies to put together so that they can actually hire WordPress developers. Finally, GPT-4, 5, 10 will not replace WordPress anytime soon due to the nature of WordPress development. Specifically, the coding aspect is really, really small compared to everything else. Any WordPress professional will tell you the bulk of being effective with WordPress is understanding its architecture, understanding its landscape, meaning the WordPress ecosystem, the themes, the plugins, that and all the various tools that can uh, support WordPress, that's small as through plugins, and of course, a viable, proper hosting that can help you out as well. All right, I hope that was helpful. My name is Steph and I run a mentoring program where I teach people how to be professional developers regardless of the code that you want to write in, although I do teach the web stack and Python. Nonetheless, check out the links below. You can check out my unclesteph.com bootcamp. I also have courses where you can learn on your own through my interactive platform. And finally, I, I invite you to check out my Discord below. Link is below. Nice community of, of over three and a half thousand members. And I have a newsletter. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.